the daycare theme but I know if I do it'll be annoying to y'all so let's just do this hey guys oh fuck okay I haven't actually drank my coffee yet it was too hot oh yeah okay Oh, 
Objection! Okay. Fucking fuck. Okay. Objection! I forgot how much I hate this. I'm also briefly doing my Japanese lesson because if I don't do it now, I will forget. Fuck you, I'm googling this one because I don't care and I'm tired and I don't want to do this. I don't want to be stuck on this section for three hours. I have no idea what it wants me to do. Fuck that. All right, three. to me, internet. Oh my god, okay. So you know yesterday when I mentioned that this game has a quirk where it kind of tells you what you have to present? Yeah, apparently the game doesn't realize that I'm supposed- the game- didn't realize that I haven't actually done things in order, so that quirk actually worked against me despite working for me last time. Great. Objection. Cool. Witness, you said that you saw the victim fall into the vat. Also, why couldn't I just present this anywhere? I already knew that was the contradiction! Did this happen before, during, or after Morisu Mor Mosorika tried to get your attention? Hang on, my It's definitely after if it weren't for the commotion she made it wouldn't have looked up there in the first place. Sorry, I want to get this fucking- I thought you were more awake today. I am, but that's not what happened here. I'm much more awake today. It's not that, it's- So what happens is, when you present it to him- Okay, hang on, I'm gonna save to a different file, and then I'm gonna show you what I mean. Briefly. So here, in the previous case, when I had this happen with Jan, there were check marks on all three of the ones, with the one exception being the one that had the actual contradiction in it, right? That didn't happen in this case. I'm supposed to present on the Morris, the Mosarika one first, and then present on the fourth one. Which is ridiculous, because the game outright just- the, the, don't put the fucking check marks. That's, I think, part of why Ace Attorney doesn't put the check marks, is it's not- it doesn't confuse you. 
It's not. It's. God, she's so short. Your Honor, Masarika Tador is actually the owner of the cafe in honor on Oranax. Anyways, Miss Tudor, you were at Oranux Refinery on the night of the incident, and you witnessed the moment the victim fell off the walkway, am I correct? According to your statement, you ran up to Mr. Morrison after you saw Justin fell off the walkway. The problem is that there's a contradiction between both your testimonies. Morrison testified that he didn't see the victim fall into the vat after you approached him, until after you approached him. That wouldn't make sense, though. You saw the victim fall off the walkway before you ran up to Morrison. Morrison couldn't have possibly seen the victim fall after that. Did you lie to me? Wait, his testimony doesn't... Yeah, no, that's not what happened, sweetie. Objection! See? More awake this time. I no I immediately caught the contradiction without looking at shit. Like I it's like this isn't an awakeness thing. This is the game is poorly programmed thing. I don't mean to be mean. I don't like being mean. This game is good. It's just that that was Rika, you said you saw the victim tumble over the guardrail as in he was thrown over it. Did you see the moment the guardrail broke? But you did see the moment Justin fell off the walkway, and in that moment, did you not see Justin break the guardrail? But that's the thing, Rika. According to Morrison, Justin Way broke the guardrail as he fell into the vat. More specifically, he said that Justin was standing on the walkway when this happened. According to the prosecution, Justin Way leaned on a faulty guardrail and broke it, falling into the vat. But that's not what you saw, was it, Rika? I'm not accusing her of anything. Hang on, my landlord just texted me. Both telling the truth, but how does that make it? It's you did not just say that. You didn't just say that. You didn't just say that. 
You didn't just say that, Tyrion. You didn't just say that. Come on. Oh my god. You can't be serious. Tyrion. Why didn't he? Two words. Major illusion. Don't. I, I know that was last case. I know that was last case. And I know that someone else used it. But fuck you for thinking that mag that I forgot suddenly between case two and three that there is illusionary magic. One of them saw an illusion. One of them did. It doesn't have to be. It could have been both. I don't know. Maybe he was dead before she even got there. But one of them at least saw an illusion. Like, seriously, Tyrion, why aren't you coming up with this yourself? This is, don't, don't pull a phoenix on me. Come on, don't pull a phoenix on me. If you're gonna pull a phoenix on me, pull a bridge to the turnabout on me where he does pull from the Maggie Bird case and says, you can't see red on white. Okay, think through this. If we assume Rika and Morrison are both telling the truth, you need to remember the exact order of events. First, Rika saw Justin go to the walkway. Then Morrison saw- yeah, 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 yeah. taking that into account look even she's looking like the fuck are you serious mr cuthbert do you honestly think some random person fell into the vault m vat moments after justin way fell in was not an accident. Ugh. Okay, okay, okay. Let's fucking do this. Let's just prove it was a murder and get this over with. I'm tired. As a result, the city guard put minimal resources into their investigation. More specifically, there was no reason to call in the Arcane Inquisition. Illusions and transmutation. Two days time. So I have two days to investigate. Neat. Probably not going to investigate that long, but whatever. Let's do this. Okay, so she's fucking with me again. Okay, okay, I'm tired.
Again, I don't... Okay, I understand that they want them to have a rapport. But I'm also like 100% with Tyrion where he's like, I don't want to talk about it. I don't like how pushy Celeste is being about it. I guess that's just me, but it's like, you know, if I don't want to talk about it, I don't want to fucking talk about it. What do you want? Me too! Oh lord. Hey bud, what up? Why are you two acting like something happened last night? It's not like y'all fucked. <laughs> Send message, conjuration, malum, malum, whatever. Ah. I love you. <laughs> I don't think he did it. I just don't think he did it because I think he's too much of a fruitcake.
the second person was an illusion. That's my theory. There wouldn't be traces of illusion if it was just there. Alright, nothing else to talk about with you. This trace? Not really. I have nothing to say to you. Um, let's just go to the walkway and talk to Orem. Oh, it's you two, and who's this? The hell? I see. So that's why he's so eccentric. Master de Wyvengard the Fourth, heir to the throne of Wyvengard. Look at that motherfucker! I don't know if Prince counts as an occupation. I didn't want you to think less of me. I'm only a fucking prince. <laughs> Would it even be possible to convict the crown prince? No, probably not. <laughs> I mean, Tyrion does hate the nobility. I guess. I just, I think that's funny. I can't believe that. Oh my god, that's so funny. Sense. Why would someone weaken these rails specifically? No idea, I'm just as confused as you are. I'm not! I'm not! It's right fucking here! He planned to rob somebody, and a couple of people probably knew about it. If Wyatt- if Wyatt Ernal knew about it, this- if this motherfucker knew about it, there's a pretty good chance somebody else knew about it, too. I'm not saying that- that uh, Dracogen did it, but if Wyatt knew, if Wyatt knew about it, who's to say Gavin or Wyatt didn't do it? You don't know what arcane pill powers they have. God. So again, illusion. Everyone, you have to drink water. Thank you, Dakey Lady Bot. I still can't believe you've been the Crown Prince this entire time. I wasn't trying to deceive you. I was just worried you might treat me differently if you knew the truth. Gee, I wonder why you thought that, buddy. Well, 
Oh, Christ. Why did you want to keep it a secret? Yeah, that makes sense. date him at all, which is hilarious because I would love to date either of them. Let's be real. gotten everything out of you, um... Okay, I don't want to talk to you. I already have everything from you. Okay... I guess I have to talk to Dracogen then. We spoke with the Inquisition about what they found in the vat. Could uh, they could only find bone matter belonging to Justin, well, that and several metallic shards. Are you talking about the metallic shards? I just assumed they were some kind of magical by byproduct. Jackagen said there shouldn't have been any solid matter in those vents. We already confirmed that the bone matter they found came from Justin's body. That leaves another question. How did the metallic shards appear in the vat? Metal object was thrown in the vat. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Whatever object that was, whatever that object was, it probably dissolved into the shards or found. That's the thing, though. What should the magical liquid have done to the object? The vat liquid should have completely destroyed the metal object. Why wasn't the full... yeah, yeah. Okay, so we have an Aztec plate. Neat. Do you think the metal objects had something to do with the second victim? Maybe they were holding it when they fell in. I'm not sure, but it's definitely possible. We should take a closer look at the metallic shards that, that Orem White found. Those shards might help us identify the second person, if that person even exists. I guess I'm not supposed to do that. Whatever. <sighs> Wanted to look into these, but apparently not. him maybe he has something nothing cool neat 
cool. I've done everything. Unless I'm supposed to just do the Ace Attorney classic strategy of just presenting everything to everyone. I don't want to do that. Oh my god. Crest of House of Unsanctus. Okay, so Avon Sanctus was involved at some point. Oh, you know what I just realized? Uh, another thing that could have been from the previous case, the metal shards could have been like a plating on one of those um, arcane constructs. It's possible she, he had some metal dude and pushed that in, and that's why they couldn't recognize the face, because there wasn't a face to recognize. And Lord Von Seng just would keep the resources like that out of the public eye. There's only one. I love him. I love this guy. I know he's a prince, but damn, dude. You're not overthinking it. You're actually underthinking it. There's a robot. Man, the double stairs. The Dracogen Trading Company has presented tangible proof that policies are both effective and profitable. Even businesses that have no affiliation with him have started growing his, following his example. Van Sanctus is merely a relic of the past, and I think he knows his archaic ideals won't survive in this landscape. Okay, that was stupid. I don't like that I had to watch that. Okay. <laughs> why this why this guy? <laughs> why did he <laughs> What? Oh, whoa. 
Whoops, I broke everything. On my Why screen. not? I don't know. I feel like you could pick someone other than a criminal. Not a criminal. A, you know, a this thing. Uh, cool. I broke Fuji Tech. Me. Okay, hang on. Accomplice. Uh, where are the other ones? That one's that one. What one is this one? Do you honestly expect him to fall for this? He's probably a Pavel mage. You'll see right through this. Fuck! <laughs> this is quite the set of characters, huh? I didn't tear anything either, you must be imagining things. Last time she pretended to be her, her distant relative, this time she's pretending to be her. Honestly, I don't blame her. This is just an elaborate form of cosplay at this point. Uh, anyways, Lord Von Sanctus, pardon the abrupt intrusion. I came to buy to pay my respects. Too busy to show hospitality to the end of the throat. What a dick! <laughs> I love that. Can we please appreciate the dude is only a douchebag to the nobility? I like him. Go, Aster. Aster's my favorite. I heard about why the charges you brought against Drakajin Trading Company. Forgive my bluntness, but is everything well within your estate? Mm, this will be noted. I understand he may be taking business away from you, but that does not really warrant you taking such drastic measures. Ooh, can we execute this guy? I see. If that's how a society pun- Okay. Aster rules. Aster rules. Cheers, Aster. Cheers to all- Long live Prince Aster. I want him to fix shit. I want the lower class to be better. what we call a babe <laughs> shit man I love Aster Aster's my favorite
fucking called it! Called it! Called it! Jesus, okay. Yeah, get out of there. Oh, it, I literally, that was so confusing. I didn't realize that that was the real steel wind. <laughs> well. It's certainly becoming a hobby, sweetie. Is impersonating the steel wind some kind of hobby for you, Miss McCoy? Lying about your name is one matter, but impersonating a noble using magic is a serious crime. Sorry for the wait, you two. I had to discuss. Uh, oh, um, Lady Steelwind. Oh no, what? Gross! Come on! <laughs> uh, <laughs> Same! Oh my god, Aster. Aster is autistic like me. Oh my god, indeed, Celeste. That's an inter- this- holy fuck. That's the funniest thing in this whole game so far. Uh -huh. <laughs> Celeste is great. Quite the roller coaster at. Oh, fuck. I don't know how I feel about her being the love struck fool, but okay. Reperio Arcanum! Wait, what did he say I had to do? <laughs> Okay, Dracogen. Uh, I hope you have good news. Well, actually... Let's see. With that said, do you have any tools that you purchased from Van Sanctus? Oh, so yeah, Van Sanctus is guilty of this shit. Cool. It's a large tool used to repair machines. Hmm. So that means that anyone could have mended the... could have broken it. Cool. And it requires two people. Well, two quote-unquote people to carry and use it. 
Sorry, I keep thinking about the fucking arcane constructs that he for sure has. Von Sanctus and one of his constructs probably did this in an attempt to get rid of the, the unions because, you know. Yeah, he pushed the construct into the thing. Leave this in my capable hands. Oh, we're back in the trial again already, huh? Nice. Let's see if I can't finish this. I'm not gonna look at any of the answers, but I do wanna know if I'm actually close to finishing this. Uh. Five, yeah. This is the last section. Sure, let's- You know what? I want- I'm- I'm setting this arbitrary goal for myself. I want to finish this before, uh, Ace Attorney Investigations comes out. Not because I want to stream that, but because I also- Not only do I want to stream that, I do. I need to make that clear. Also, You're making pretty good pace. Also, I just realized that my mic is doing weird shit. Hang on. There, now it should be mono again. Um, uh, t -t 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 I want to finish this before investigations, not just because I want to play it with you, but also because, um, heck yeah. Also because I do want to stream the two cases of Ace Attorney I haven't played. There are only two I haven't done. They're both in the 3D games. I've been told Time Traveler is really good, um, which I'm excited for. Despite me hating SOJ, I am actually- I do want to play it because I've heard it's really good. I also want to play Dual Destinies' this case even though I- Yes. <laughs> I have no words for that one. Look how cute she is. I have no words cause I know jack shit about DD. It's not good! You know that! <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I haven't actually played- I don't think I've played Dual Destiny since I was in high school. Shit, I need to play it again. Fuck. I don't want to. It's not a game I enjoy, but I haven't played it in ages. My client can't be held responsible for Justin's breach of set protocols. And you can't hold my client responsible for someone sabotaging the guardrail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, it's not complete? Why are we acting like we don't know what happened? Get Tudor in here. No, no one tried- no one tried to stop me. Sorry, Tyrion. So you have nothing to apologize for, witness. The only one at fault is Dracogen Trading Company for their negligence. Dude, I already know what happened! This dude made the security company so he- security company- security system so he knew how to turn it off. He also had a freaking um, construct. So he had him and the construct take the rod, damage the rails, then Justin leaned against- then Justin broke against the thing and fell in. Von Sanctus freaked out, 
because of the opening cutscene, he was like, what the fuck, pull him up, failed to pull him up in time, and then pushed the... No, we didn't push him off. He, uh, set up the fucking... He set the, ch the thing to fall in, because that's what Morrison saw. So, what they saw as, as Justin falling in was actually the construct falling in. Nothing really stopped me. The witness clearly stated there was no magical door leading into the building. This was obviously some sort of door powered by the artificery. Which was still unlocked and effectively useless. I love her eyes. She's such pretty eyes. Oh, hey. Oh, so they do use that sprite. I can't prove that he didn't. Objection! We thought it was left over in the game files. Are you should get all of the attorney of the arcane Twitch uh, Twitch Discord to watch my streams. I'd love to discuss with them. <laughs> I don't know why I'm presenting. There's no reason to. I can just... I have been advertising it. No one has showed you. Up. That's fair. Okay. There's only like 35 PPL. That's fair. Hmm. Objection! Nothing really stopped her from entering? Nothing else could have disabled the lock. Well, whoa. I mean, I know that's not true. I know he could have done it, but also I'm looking at other shit. Objection! I don't think it's this one. Hey. Everyone, thank you, Dick. You have bot. to drink water. Okay. 
Objection. I know who could have disabled it. Why can't I present that? I know who could have done it. Objection! Another one of those things where I have no idea what it wants me to present, even though I know the answer. The obvious answer is, hey, the person who fucking made it would know the way to disable it. But obviously, that's too obvious, so it has to be something else. Objection! Oh. Well, that seems silly. Objection! There are things that, about Justin that even you didn't know about. Truth is, he was deeply in debt to a crime lord named the Eye Taker. like you to be ten steps ahead. And he was extremely desperate to wipe that debt as soon as he could. Just like me to be ten steps ahead. Thank you! <laughs> So yeah, he broke in. <laughs> we both assaulted. Who did it? Not possible. The kid, the prince? Are you saying that Aster von Wyvingard was like, I want to get in here and bust the lock? Because that would be fucking hilarious. There are no maintenance constructs. That's the thing. I know what it is. I already know what it is. I already know what it is. Calm down, game. Objection! Easy. You said you saw the maintenance construct in the refinery building. Are you sure that was an arcane construct? Yeah. There is no- yeah! Because fucking- yeah! Why would anyone send a con arcane construct to the refinery? Yeah. Who sent the- gee I wonder! Come on! Who's this motherfucker? Where does he go? Called it. 
I accuse him. I accuse Lord Von Sanctus of murder. Fuck this guy. Hi, huh, dude. I kicked your ass in chess, and I'll kick your ass in court. Accused of rail breaking. I'm like that fool Pierce? Really, why is Garrick Pierce being brought into this? What does he have to do with this? What, the fact that he has that laughing sprite totally based on Kristoff? <laughs> Let's fucking do this. I don't know, but he's doing the exact same thing as Pierce, so... I guess so. And by that I mean coming down from the gallery. Yeah. Okay, um, well, I know that Von Sanctus is the one who broke the thing, either with Justin's help or without it. I don't know if the eye taker was helpful. That doesn't look like the, like a sprite face. The sprites have a very specific art style that doesn't seem to match the eye taker, so I don't think he's gonna show up. I mean, I have, eh, I don't have proof, but it's possible. And it does look considerably different from the sprite art. It looks more like just a mugshot. What was I saying? Um, Dracogen. Who else could have gotten that in there? I'm just looking through things. That actually makes a lot of sense. Blah, 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 blah. Look at her beautiful eyes. Artificery can only do so much. It's difficult to create magical items that respond to verbal commands. But our magic is still not advanced enough to replicate the common sense of a living creature. Arcane constructs are still a marvelous invention. You still need to supervise them if you give them complex tasks. He fucking created them. She should have the resources and know how. I suppose I would, but you forget that I wasn't there personally. I would never trust a construct to dec discreetly complete such an intricate task unsupervised. Um, I mean, I don't see why. Ew. Uh, huh? Objection! Sure you didn't. Von Sanctus, you testify- <laughs> Okay, so this is another interesting intricacy I've noticed. Um, the game doesn't always- I don't know if this is how it works in Unity, but the game doesn't always remember to switch the sprites. <laughs> So sometimes the game just keeps Tyrion in the sprite that he was in originally, in the previous scene. <laughs> I don't think he's supposed to look like this right now. I don't think he's supposed to look irritated as he's speaking matter-of-factly.
also punch a gigantic hole in your alibi. You would be surprised how often I accidentally leave people on their previous sprites in our game. I'm not surprised. I've seen it. I've played our, I've played the, the... I go back in to fix them later, but it happens a lot. I know. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying I've noticed. Damn! This is why Steel Wind kicks so much ass! Fucking, yeah, I know. Game, calm down. Alright, let's argue. Uh, no. Von Sanctus, you of all people should know that arcane constructs are not available to the public. When you attempted to sell these constructs to Dragogen, you promised him that he would be the first merchant in Oranex to own one. Since he refused your offer, that would leave you as the only owner of the arcane constructs in Oranex. Frankly, Von Sanctus, I find it hard to believe. After the Nightgrave trial, you must have found it awful fearful about who you sold your constructs to. You only tried to sell constructs to Dragonus so you could Dragon so you could control him. You wouldn't have done that otherwise. I did notice that the text stayed overlaid. That's a I I'm not upset about that one. I've done that in Game Maker. You serious? On Sanctus, you might have been right under any other circumstance. But the King's Guard locked down the city on the day the incident occurred. No one except a selected few individuals could have left or entered the city. And due to the gravity of the situation, the King's Guard created profiles of everyone within the city. Why don't we cross-reference the records taken by the King's Guard with the list of individuals who you stole constructs to? I suppose from your reaction that list would come up empty. So why don't you admit to your crime, Von Sanctus? Or do I have to drag the evidence into court myself? Okay, so you literally just confirmed that the metallic shards are from the co You literally just- So, okay, hang on, pause. Have I accidentally guessed the correct answer for every single case so far? <laughs> cause I know I guessed- Cause from the clip I know I guessed Pierce pretty, pretty much instantly. I know I got stuck, but I Maybe. did- I totally guessed that Redmond was guilty. And now I totally guessed that this guy is guilty. Have I managed to accidentally get the correct answer way before the game is expected? <laughs> I'm a genius! You still have that testimony. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know, I know. Game, come on. You're stupid. Oh. 
When I played the first few cases I considered them easy. You're out here exhaling the correct answers. <laughs> If you wanted to use a construct, you may have needed to maintain constant communication. So to prove that this communication occurred, we would need something that connects you to it. Which piece of evidence would connect the murder to Bon Sanctus? The object that... Justin Way... Stole... Way fell So he directly points to him. I know what it is. How could Von Sanctus easily destroy the evidence? By pushing it into the vat! The evidence was thrown into the vat of volatile liquid. I like the sentence forming. It feels very Detective Grimoire. That's not necessarily true. You threw the rod of mending into the vat and that didn't fully dissolve. The workers neutralized the liquid immediately after Justin fell into the vat. Unlike you, Von Sanctus, my client values the lives of his workers over profits, and because of that, the Inquisition was able to find pieces of bone matter and metal within the vat. You wouldn't have thrown the rod into the vat until after you were done with your sabotage, and if you wanted to destroy the rod, you could have destroyed all the evidence you needed to get rid of. Gee, I wonder... You would have also destroyed the arcane construct I want itself. to build a system like that into an investigation game. The sentence building? Hell yeah. I love her. This means that anyone looking at it. Yeah. How dare you. Why did Van Sanctus sabotage the guardrail? Van Sanctus wanted just this thing to look like an accident because he wanted it to look like an accident, which means it wasn't an accident. But those constructs do have a habit of shoving people that are in their way. What if the construct pushed Justin out of the way, causing him to fall over the edge of the guardrail? Oh, I missed that. Hang on. Yep. May have been unintentional, but either way, you would have been at fault for Justin's death, not my client. If the construct fell in after Justin, your attuned object must be somewhere in the neutralized liquid. No, it's even better than that. Constructs are made from a specific magical alloy, aren't they? I'm sure with a few divination spells, they can identify the metal shards from the construct and your arcane focus. Each and every one of those pieces of evidence points directly at you, Von Sanctus. <laughs> Kick told you! I kicked your ass at chess and I'll kick your ass in court! <laughs> of 
course not. You're completely blameless, right? That guy's going to get executed. Yeah, so even though he's gonna get away with murder, his his entire facade is totally ruined. I love her. I was wrong. Hey, dude. Aww. Oh, okay. So, okay, so Eris stole the boat. I've only been streaming for an hour and a half. I guess we could start the next chapter. I'd feel weird only doing an hour and a half stream. Sure, let's fucking start it. Yeah. We're starting from some other perspective. I mean, we've started all of them. There are a lot of, of really good characters in this one. Hi. 
What are you doing here? Okay. No, I'm actually with Steelwind. Fuck these people. All of them suck. Tyrion... Tamora sucks. Can I say that? Tamora sucks ass. I don't like her. I thought she was fine at the beginning, but she genuinely sucks. She's so mean to Steelwind for no reason. She's constantly telling Tyrion to not use the powers at his disposal. She doesn't trust anybody in the Inquisition, even Orem, who actively seems to be, like, uncorrupt. Like, fuck you. I don't like her. I, I like Arya because Arya active like from the beginning Arya has been really chill. Hey, look at that. Cool. First degree murder and theft. Beatrice Frega is formerly the daughter of the now late William Frega, and the victim of the murder is William Frega himself. Oh yeah, do I have any evidence? Nope. The crimes took place during the Lord's Ball, an event that was stolen in Frega, an event that was hosted in Frega's Manor yesterday. Haraldson Hall is the his had a history of gallery of. Oh my God, I can't read. They were dis they are showcasing several magical artifacts to the Wyvern Historical Society. One of those items was the Sword of Spell Eating, an ar artifact that allows its wielders to nullify magical effects. Neat. That's a JPEG ass looking image. <laughs> Sorry, I'm drinking iced tea. Ew. Ew. My client left a house frig a household. Oh, fuck off. I won't disagree with your claims, but that just highlights how desperate the defendant must have been. She had clearly fallen on hard times and begrudgingly contacted her father for financial aid. Can't possibly understand hey, why they would everyone. schedule the meeting during the Lord's Ball. Water. But nevertheless, several, several witnesses did see her last night. And the same witness saw her storming out her father's study in anger. Her father must have refused her request for gold, so she decided to murder him to claim her inheritance. Okay. What you're saying is all conjecture, Steelwind. I'm aware that you and your client have refused to tell us what the discuss what you discussed during that meeting. But as long as you both stay silent, my claims are plausible. Okay, now you're just being a cock. I really don't like her. I really don't. Am I supposed to dislike her? Am I supposed to dislike Ruby Tamora? Because I do. She's really mean to everybody. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! She's legally blind! Why is Miriam suddenly here? I 
don't know. That that's worthless. I won't say, but I don't know if Anion is made to be disliked. Oh my god, you're not letting her talk! I hate this woman. I hate her. I, her age is the only thing that is good about her character. She's mean. She's talking right over the prosecution. She's not letting her actually state what happened. You're not a good lawyer. You're a bitch. Your Honor, the court has not seen the evidence that supports this case, nor have you listened to the Inquisition's testimony regarding their investigation. Until you've done so, there's no opposition to a past judgment. I also hate the way she's crossing her arms so weirdly. Hey, Orem. Anti-magic field. We searched the house and found the stolen sword in the defendant's bedroom. Didn't look like she was gonna run. Lame. Play this case. She winces when she drops her cane. Yeah, okay, so you're full of it. What was that name? Leif? Actually, why am I confused? I've met a Leif before. I met a Leif in high school. He was cool. I liked him. Leif was chill. Whoa, 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 what?
you. Okay, I genuinely hate this woman. Almost makes you respect her a little. Bitch, she's the only noble prosecutor who actually wants the right verdict. What do you mean, a little? Oh, you're a fucking... You know what? You're a cunt. I believe... You know what? Fuck you. I believe... I didn't want to. I thought this was just a... Oh, prosecutors are... Uh, defense attorneys are evil. They only do what they... Blah, 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 blah. No, you're actually a piece of shit. You're a fucking asshole. You are a cunt. Objection. Thank you! Woo! I am afraid you can't pass a verdict. Fuck you! Fuck you, Ruby! Look at this bitch! That's the best! Best friends! Best friends! Best friends! Best friends! Sorry, my roommates are gonna be like, Yo, what the fuck is wrong with you? But what I do know is there's a MASSIVE contradiction in Miriam Frager's TESTIMONY! <laughs> BITCH! 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 <laughs> Woohoo! <gasps> oh god! Oh, that was awesome! Oh, she's also cute. Aww. Fuck you. I don't even want to look at you. Fucking hate this woman. Holy shit. So why were you insisting me insisting on accompanying me to Miss Timora to the Lord's Ball? You know you can tell me anything, right? Oh, okay. If I'm with you, I don't any of the nobles want to speak with you. Maybe. Aw, gross. Stop stop flirting. You spent a night alone sleeping with your hands interlocked. You're being weird about it. Let's just go play chess in the hallway. <gasps> oh, hi there, creepy. Hmm. Okay, sure, let's go to the gallery. Um, hi! 
I like your monkey! <laughs> Nye, did you design this character? Oh my god, someone get Nye in on this right now. <laughs> oh, good old D&D flashbacks. Fuck, I can't wait for Sunday. It's nice. important that he has an Australian accent. It's Okay, I'll see if I can't do that. I see. Would you have to know anything about the ancient dragons? Not really, but I imagine him to have one. Oh, like the skin. Oh, shoot. Now I have to... <clears throat> oh, I take a look at that Sheila over there. I like the scale lord, Rathalion. There are many pieces in this gallery. And some of them were items that were wielded by the seven heroes of Wyvengard. Legend says that some of them items... Oops. Were directly enchanted by Rathalion himself. Chanted by Rathalion. Harold. Right, Harold. Anyway, Lord Frager invites me to his museum to set up uh, displays every year. Must think it is. You're in a museum? Yeah, it's the Haraldson Hall of History, located in the city of Homhereth. Home Fortunately, I don't think his guests appreciate the historical significance of these items. Look at that fucking monkey. I'm enchanted by your monkey, dude. Honestly, I think you're the only person this year has taken meaningful interest in him. Sorry, I really have to ask. Is that a monkey riding on your back? Yes, this is my familiar Eugene. You're familiar? Familiar is a creature with a mage that's formed a magical bond with. With that bond, our cells are forever connected. I can communicate with them telepathically. I could even cast my spells through them if I wanted to. It's quite rare. Very few mages take the time to learn how to cast it. Eugene helps me with my day to day. These old bones aren't as spry as they used to be, after all. How old are you? Historian, do you know a lot? Uh, the answer to that question is somewhat complicated. What do you mean? Fortunately, a lot of historical texts in my collection have altered or even outright destroyed by the Church of Bahamut. Because of that, it's quite difficult to separate a myth from my my Australian and my I and my Scottish are just <laughs> rude. I had to fight the Church for a long time before I could even display dragon bones in my museum. Um, I'm done with you. Armbands of... Okay. <laughs> hey, more, uh, more, uh, Kickstarter people. Wait, what's his name? Luke Kiefer. Quefer. Quep Quefer. I don't know. Matt Furland. Spell, sword, whatever. Alright, let me look at the actual events I have now. Worn by creature t -t 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 would be cre uh, creature's intelligence would be increased beyond the limits of the average human. Legend says that it was forged by House Frega to further study magic. 
sword, I know. The artifacts on display at the Lord's Ball are protected by layers of abjuration spells. Even a highly skilled mage would have trouble breaking into them. Okay. Expect anyone here to be truthful with you? You're essentially asking if they cheated on their spouses. Have you been spying on me? Not intentionally. I was just surprised to see you here of all places. You're not party crashing, are ya? Of course not. I came here with Ruby and Tyrion. Uh, that honestly raises more questions than answers, but I'll take your word for it. Anyway, you're looking for your birth parents, aren't you? Was I being that obvious? It's the only reason I could think of. Why else would you be trying to speak with the members of the nobility? I don't know if the it's any of my business. The only reason you are not shocked by the dress is cause I accidentally showed it to you early. Oh, believe me. I'm in love with her anyways. Look at her fucking outfit. She's perfect. I love her. But it's hard about whether this is what you truly want. Getting entangled in the aristocracy will only bring you misery. I've read your file. You have everything you could ever want. You have your mother and your friends. You even have a lover. What? Uh, you're in a relationship with Mr. Cuthbert, are you not? No, Tyrion's not my... Really? From the way you took behavior on one another, I just assumed. It's pretty obvious, yeah. Ugh, gross. Did he seriously not notice? I think some of his deductive... <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Please, you're grossly exaggerating things. He may be my fiancé, but I only have the utmost respect for him. <laughs> Who's the emo kid? Same. <laughs> oh, Mr. Cuthbert. What was that all about? My apologies. They were making sure you weren't disguising yourself with an illusion. <laughs> 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 Alaric. Okay. Okay, well, you're just a bitch. He didn't say demean. What did he say? Demote. Gotcha. I hate this kid. Why can't he be more like his cool older brother? <laughs> Hi there. He's a young child, cut him some slack. Okay, so he was originally gotcha. Okay, so Oh my god, are you stupid, Tyrion? Case 2, Miriam literally brought up, Oh, they're only taking advantage because of what happened in Lord Frey. Obviously the dude is in was engaged to her and then she fucking ran off. 
Beatrice was engaged to the prince. The prince was like, nah. <laughs> Beatrice was engaged to the prince. Beatrice ran off and then Ar Aria became engaged to the prince. Oh, okay, so that's where this scene comes from. <laughs> now what did I stumble onto? Laughing face. Oh, Jesus Christ! That's fucked up. What? I don't know. I think it's cure. I guess... I don't know. I don't play murder Cute. games. I don't really play murder games for fucking... I'm so... Devin, I'm so... I, before I get into my point, I'm so glad that you clipped me cheering best friends. That makes me so happy. <laughs> Um, no, um, I don't play murder investigation games for shipping and relationships. I, I get my ships from the game just being there. I don't like it being explicitly told to me. Because, personally, I kind of shipped Tyrion and Steelwind a little bit. I mean, now I totally don't because Arya totally belongs with Aster. Because fuck, they're so both- One of them, like, they were my- Aster and Arya are just Devin and me if the genders were reversed. That's... Yes. But also, like, you know... I don't... These two I don't have... Don't have that chemistry for me. They seem more like siblings. They always seemed more like siblings to me. Similar to the Maya Phoenix. They, they have a similar report of Phoenix and Maya, and I do not ship that. For multiple reasons. It could be this wasn't meant to be a romantic moment, but who knows. It is. Celeste is super into him and she's and he's super into her. Oh, Jesus. You're right, never mind. Laughing face. Tyrion, you don't know what- maybe you just suck at this. Right, she's not blind at all, is she? She's lying. I don't know. I don't care. I don't trust anything. I don't like her. I don't trust her. Fuck you. Fuck Ruby. Fuck this whole fucking case.
You know, in a world where illusions are a thing, I don't know how any of these people believe anything. Also, you don't understand? I'll tell you what it was. It was that fucking wolf. That wolf was involved somehow. I'm with you there. Fuck you. Okay, so Celeste's sword is missing. Interesting. here. God, I fucking hate Tamora. Phoenix, nah, what's your name? Fuck, James, you, you were not here when I was talking, when I was talking about how much I fucking hate Ruby Tamora, which is hilarious because I literally just said how much I liked her in like the first case and the age difference, but this woman sucks. Sadness and fear because, yeah, they were totally betrothed. Traces of illusion magic on the body. Murder weapon was crushed by a tremendous force. Okay. Hey, everyone. You have to drink water. One day I hope to return to the British voice for speech chat. I miss British her. Yeah, shut up, Mom. Hang on. Oh my god, she's so blonde! Holy cow! <laughs> she's 
speak to her. By the way, Steelwind, do you have a map the mana? I do. Would you like to have a copy? Please and thank you. There was someone who heard the altercation, but it was quite obscured. Da, 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 da. What the fuck is Hughes doing here? Let's see. To be honest, I don't really know much about what happened either. But Beatrice was Lord Frega's eldest daughter and heir to the f former heir to House Frega. About five years ago, she fled Frega Manor and went into hiding. None of us knew where she'd gone. She ignored any attempts we made to contact her. She even used her magic to prevent us from scrying her. Last night's bull was the first time in years that Aster and I had seen her. Whoops. Some ideas, but nothing concrete. I was hoping you could tell me. Tamara and Beatrice have both refused to disclose anything to her about their meetings. Okay. When did the murder occur? Well, it occurred during the party. The murder occurred during the lockdown. Steelwind and the Inquisition believe that Beatrice used the spell of swordy of spell eating. What if the murderer entered the room before William locked it? Spell eating. Did I hear that right? Yeah, the spell can. Uh, there's this sword that basically makes it so that uh, the creature or anything wielding it is immune to any harmful magic effects. So anything that could cause damage. Wait, but that. Wait. Harmful magical effects. Fascinating. When concentrating on a spell, the caster forms a 10-foot radius where it nullifies all magic. Any spell that enters that instantly dissipates, and any mage that tries to cast a spell will fail to do so. If the anti-magic overlaps with any other nullif nullification effect, the two effects will cancel each other out. That isn't harmful. The spell sword shouldn't have been able to... The sword shouldn't have been able to dissipate the anti-magic field because the spell doesn't do any harm. So the sword wouldn't have actually been helpful in an anti-magic setting. It would have just been a regular spell. So an anti-anti-magic field doesn't work, in other words? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. So in that case, maybe the killer did use Celeste's sword since... There would have technically been little to no difference between the two. Of course, there's also the murder weapon. The letter opener. Hmm. Curious. Where did the murder I went? could be wrong cause it's been a while but I don't think the harmful part is important. Well then they shouldn't have fucking put it in. <laughs> if it's not important, don't put it in. Uh the murderer took the murder weapon and for the study.
Okay, I will, but I'll be right back because I have to pee really bad. And yeah, fuck Tamora if this is what I think it's leading into. <laughs> That's not ghost trick music. That's from 100% orange juice. Also, I wasn't in the room, so I couldn't turn off the music. Sorry. All right, let's go. Jesus. Everyone in this room is gothic. Hi, Leif. What up? Sorry for your loss, Lady Frega, but would you mind Was the I previous asked? case good? I kind of missed the end. I nailed it, pretty much. <laughs> Dev can assess- can, Dev can attest that I totally called the ending again. I didn't mean to, but I did. Prosecutor Steelwind told us that you were-